Prove algebraically that 0.256 reoccurring can be written as 127 divided by 495. So the first thing we'll want to do for this question is let x be equal to 0.256 reoccurring. So we can write x as being equal to 0.2565656 56 and so on. Now in order to complete this question, what we're going to want to do is multiply the value of x by 10 repeatedly until we get two values which have exactly the same numbers after the decimal point. So the next thing we can do is work out 10x. And 10x will be equal to 2.565656 and so on. And as we can see, after the decimal point of x, we have 2, 5 and 6. Whereas after the decimal point of 10x, we have 5, 6 reoccurring. So we can continue to multiply this value by 10. So 100x will be equal to 25.656565. Six, five, and so on. And as we can see, this still doesn't match up to any of the values after the other decimal points. So we can multiply this again to 1000x. And this gives us 256.5656 and so on. Now what we can see is after the decimal point of 10x, we have 5, 6 reoccurring. And after the decimal point of 1000x, we also have 5, 6 reoccurring. So these are the two values which we'll want to use. Now if we do 1000x minus 10x, this will be equal to 990x. So now we can substitute in the values of 1000x and 10x. So 1000x is equal to 256.56 reoccurring and 10x is equal to 2.56 reoccurring. And because we have the same value after the decimal point, this means that we will get a whole number for our answer because the 0.56 reoccurring will be taken away from each other. So what this means is 256.56 reoccurring minus 2.56 reoccurring will be equal to 254. So now if 1000x minus 10x is equal to 990x and 1000x is equal to 256.56 reoccurring and 10x is equal to 2.56 reoccurring then this means that 990x is equal to 254. And at the start of this question we let x be equal to 0.256 reoccurring. So in order to prove algebraically that this decimal can be rewritten as 127 over 495, we're going to want to rearrange this equation to make x a subject. And to do this, we can first divide both sides by 990. And this gives us that x is equal to 254 over 990. And now the final thing we need to do is simplify down this fraction. And to do this, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. And this gives us a final fraction of 127 over 495, which is the fraction that we needed to prove was equal to 0 0.256 reoccurring. Now this question's worth three marks. We'll get our first mark for beginning the process to find two values which have the same numbers after the decimal point. We'll get our second mark for identifying two numbers with the same value after the decimal point and minusing these from each other. And we'll get our third mark for the complete proof.